marvelous Monday morning, everybody. I hope that you got up this morning feeling amazingly well because the atmosphere is good. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It is absolutely perfect. Perfect day for me to have a doctor's appointment. And so I was running a little bit late this morning and uh, whew, yeah, got blood drawn, got everything done, know what's wrong. Yes, y'all were right. I am sick, but I'm at work, so it's okay. I'm at work. I don't miss work. Oh my gosh, it's good to be here. It's good to be anywhere the way I felt last night, coughing my head off. But Lisa Perry, I love you and I know what you're feeling because we got the same thing. So there you go. Okay, this weekend, <clears throat> very, very special weekend. Ansley had a birthday. We never do anything for Ansley. She's always, um, I don't know why, but she didn't want parties or birthdays or anything. And so we just decided to have a little surprise family get together. And we brought in an aunt who hadn't seen her in a long, long time. And it was really, really precious. And um, one day soon we will do something big and spectacular, but not until COVID is not running among us because we're being very careful about who's around that little precious baby. But happy, happy birthday to Ansley. And I chose some pictures of Ansley that I think that you will love because that is when she was a tiny preemie at Crawford Long. Crawford Long Hospital saved her mother's life, saved her life, and I can never say enough thank yous to Crawford Long in Atlanta. Ansley was in the neonatal unit for a long time, but she is now 27 years old. She is the sweetest thing in the world. Love her beyond the moon and back. She is just so precious. And there is her precious Zanna. There's baby Zanna. So it was a very, very special day with a surprise visit from her Aunt Jessie that she had not seen in a long, long, long time. So it was just a very, very special day. But that is our baby Zanna. And uh, yeah, are we not blessed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And has that baby got clothes? Oh, yeah, she got a bunch of clothes. Okay. I have um, an event happening in Morganton this week that I've worked really hard to get things out, accomplished, done, and I have to say, without several people involved, um, and, and Scott, you are the best, it is amazing to go through 95 years of people's stuff, and I can say on Thursday, all day Thursday, this sale is going to happen on Loving Road. It's just less than a mile off of 515 on Loving Road. You go 515 north, take a right on Loving Road, and the house is out there on the right. There will be signs up. You will see it, and I can tell you, don't get there early because it doesn't matter. The sale starts at 10 a.m. because of the cold temperatures in that area. I don't want people walking around hacking and coughing and getting sick. So we're going to have the sale beginning at 10 a.m., and again, you go 515 North to Loving Road. This is in Fannin County. And I, I can't even tell you how much stuff is there. there. There are towels, there are linens, there are shoes, many, many, many shoes, size seven, seven and a half. There are many, many, many clothes, closets full of clothes. If you like to dress up and you like to go to church or if you're one of them Sunday go to meet and dress up old ladies, you are going to love these clothes. There are some cool, cool clothes. You better be a tiny little one because she wore a size small. So some really, really cool stuff. If you are into furniture, we have two bedroom suits. We have a, an oak dining room table with the Lazy Susan in the middle with eight chairs. We have a china cabinet that matches that. The china is going. The family has taken what they need. And if you are a piano teacher, and you have a student who needs a really good Baldwin piano. We have a Baldwin piano for $150. There's so much stuff in this house. The garage, the, the outbuildings, everything was full. We've gotten it all down to the house now. There's a wood heater. There are all kinds of guys. This is what I'm calling a guy's sale. Because even though she had tons of clothes, she didn't have tons of kitchen stuff. And she didn't have tons of stuff like I have. But this guy, he had everything, and he had multiples of everything. If he had one socket, he had 500. If he had two hammers, he had 20. He was a man's man, and he was a machinist, and amazing to me, all the stuff we're gonna have. So um, get out there, be there at 10 a.m. No need in getting there any earlier, because you know what? I live in ball ground, 
and I'm running the sale, and I'm not going to get there early either. So y'all just get there early, you know, get there about 10 to 10. That'd be good. There's a Kubota, um, what do you call that thing, zero-turn mower. There's a John Deere mower. There's all kinds of stuff to do, any kind of work you've ever dreamed of. And if there's one screw in that building, there's 500 screws in that building. There's a little of everything. So come out and be with us. And again, this starts Thursday morning at 10 a.m., 10 to 5. And um, furniture-wise, the two-bedroom suits, there's also something very, very unique that is built into this house. And if you ever watched the program Happy Days where they had those booths, you know, this makes me want to go home, build a house with a basement, and fix a really cool room that you just hang out with the kids because there's a really cool booth that's built into the house and I would think that that booth would be really cool to put somewhere else because the house needs, the kitchen needs to be opened up a little bit, but it's so cool. So there's some really, really cool stuff there. And again, ladies, if you wear a size small, you are in for the treat of a lifetime because there are more clothes. One, two, three, I think maybe four closets full and I'm not talking small closets, I'm talking massive closets. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of clothes for y'all to go through and some really cool dress-up stuff. So if you have a wedding coming up in your future and you have one of your daughter-in-laws says, I want you to wear pink, there might be pink, green, purple, yellow, any color you're looking for is there. So I promise you that. And again, it's on Loving Road, and it's just one mile off Loving Road to the right if you're going north on 515. Very easy to find, and uh, you will recognize it when you get there. So I hope to see you there. Okay, today we have some guests who know something about junk and clutter and stuff. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves now because they're here to get some help for some folks, aren't you? We are. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity. Love uh, the Cares Thrift Store. Well, Love the Cares Thrift Store. Have always been a big supporter of it. Well, I'm glad you are. And it's a privilege to be here on your show. Thank you. I mean, you're the legend around here. Thank you. Yeah, so, I'm a legend in my own time. Oh, you yeah. are. Though. You are. And if you <laughs> yeah. can get the word out for this, you're the, that's, you're the yeah, person that can yeah, do it. Yeah, thank you. Well, so what the, the community thrift store in Pickens County mm -hmm. has been around for 20 years. Uh, we have always, we have, we had one, th one, one goal, I guess, when, when Don Russell started out 20 years ago. And we have to say, what a, what a great man. Oh, yeah. What a great man. Well, yeah. Big shoes to, f to fill. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'm standing for sure. On, I'm standing on the, the shoulders of a giant, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so when I took over, I just wanted to make sure that we did things not as good, but even better to, mm -hmm, to, be, to make mm -hmm, the legacy worthwhile. Mm -hmm, right. Um, so so we, we give away millions of dollars over the last 20 years. Right. To all the 513 C's and Pickens, and uh, since uh, since I had taken over the store, uh, we decided for more community involvement, and we started doing festivals, and we started mm -hmm. doing things like that. Ultimately, the hurricane came, and uh, and that hurricane, even though we were warned a week in advance, you can't prepare a week in advance. Oh no, you, you can't do what you need to do. So a lot of people lost everything. That, well, and it, and it hit us personally because some of our volunteers, their families lived down there. Mm -hmm. So it was a personal thing for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so so I, I, when I was in the service, and I put, I put 40 years in the, in the military, I was a military policeman, and we used to respond to these things. You're the guy that every woman wants to marry. Those <laughs> MPs look so cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure I look so cool, but... <laughs> oh, that's but, funny. But my wife puts off of me. So. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so, so I had some experience to do with this, so I thought, well, we might, you know, we have all these things that mm -hmm. God has given us, through, the, through the, the people that donate these things, and we have some wonderful things mm -hmm. in the store. So let's go, let's, let's go down and help them. So we, we formed a team up, and then we did, we did a little research. We got an operations plan together, and we're going to be heading down there on the 4th of November. Mm -hmm. We have uh, teamed up with uh, the first Christian church in Fort Myers, mm -hmm. and we're going to set up in their parking lot, and we're going to be giving out clothes, household items, water, all the necessities. Mm -hmm. uh, and when, when we go down, and then we also hooked up, we hooked up, we didn't hook up. <laughs> we, we, met up we, uh, we met up with the other store, which is the St. Matthew's Thrift Store down there. Now, St. Matthew's is an organization that has all these uh, drug rehab programs. Oh, neat. And they yeah. have, they have a, uh, a large uh, homeless shelter down there. Mm -hmm. So it's a worthy cause. So, and, and one of their stores, the You know what you store. just said? That's so weird, because you just said homeless. 
And in Florida, we think of the affluent, and we think of everybody lives at the beach and everybody has a maid. But somebody has to, to, to serve them. You know? That's right. That's right. So it's, it's not only the affluent that were affected by this hurricane. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, so there, there's, a, there's so much damage down there. But so, we're, so we will be giving out all these things, distributing them. And, we, and when we go down, we, our team is going to be, uh, we, we will self-sustain ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because it, I don't want to put a burden on those people down there. Right. They already have enough burden. Right. So we're taking the team down. We're going to have our own uh, logistics down there to, to set up. We'll, we'll stay in RVs that mm -hmm. we're going to be, that God's going to provide for us. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. um, and and the, the uh, and I just want to put a shout out to the Methodist Church in, in, in uh, Pickens because they have given us their van to take our people down what there. What a great organization they are. They are. Yeah. They're, yeah. I mean, it's They're unbelievable, amazing. right? Yeah. 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 And, and so there's a lot of organizations in town that are already helping us. But it's, a, I mean, w when you do this in the Army, it's easy, right? Mm -hmm. I have unlimited funds, unlimited You personnel. call your general and That's say, right. I'm yeah. doing so and That's so. right. Yeah. And he says, yeah. drive on, right? Well, <laughs> yeah. here it's just us. Yeah. So, yeah. and then we got to put together the, the funding. We got to put together the material and all those things. But, but it is coming together. God is blessing us. And we're, and we're getting ready to go. So, uh, that's that's the first thing that we're doing. What are the things you need most? Okay, well, we obviously we have clothes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that we, we're we are we are the quintessential clothes mm -hmm. salespeople, right? Right, right. But we do need baby. We need baby items. Mm -hmm. We need water. We need uh, medical th th medical supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, non-perishable food. Yeah, non-perishable food. Those mm -hmm. are the kind of things that we're asking. We right. have boxes out, and, and IGA has put boxes out for us. Mm -hmm. Kroger has put boxes out for us, and uh, and. Um, Ingles has put boxes out for it. I'm going to do a shout out to Dominic's mission, which is something I'm I love being a part of down in Ballground, and they have a food pantry in Ballground, and often they get more of one item than the community needs, whether it be ketchup or mayonnaise or pickles or you right. know something. I was stocking the shelves one day, and I said, "Boy, there's a ton of this stuff." You know, and one community can't use all that, but maybe that's something we could share some of Dominic's food with y'all. Well, that, awesome. that would be great. Yeah, yeah. And, and our and our I think our cares is going to get involved, and they're right behind us. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, the the community is, but again, we put this thing together pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes logistically you miss some things. Right. And, and well, do you I miss have a tractor and trailer to take supplies down? What we have, we have. Uh, there's a there's a, a company called Arc Arc Recycling. Mm -hmm. that is in Atlanta and they offered to give us a semi but then we don't have a, a truck or a driver to take it down okay so our plan B was to go ahead and go to U-Haul and get get some moving vans mm -hmm. and we'll take those down and those are mm -hmm. logistically probably easier for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and so we, I we're contacting them and hoping they will be they'll be as open-hearted as most of the community is and, right and right. help us with those issues. I know when we were in the trucking business um, and I can't remember the hurricane that hit Miami so bad our trucks were loaded to go to Publix in Miami, and we had to stop our freight, and then we offered our services to Publix if they needed our drivers because they were in such a mess down there. Yeah. They didn't have utilities at that Publix warehouse for over a month. Wow. So it, it's happened to these people before. You know, it's tough. Well, yeah, and like when we contacted the pastor down there, the first Christian church down there, that, that was his whole thing. You know, I said, how can we help? He said, well... He said, you know, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Anything, and I, I said, yeah. well, this is what we can supply. And his first thing was, was, do I have to take care of you? And I said, no, you don't. No. no. You don't have to do anything. We will come down there. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I can say the, the, the community has responded, but now we're, at, we're danger close. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. an old military term, right? But that's mm -hmm. where we are for the mission. We're danger close, and we have to really put this stuff together. So we're, we're asking people to give out of the kindness of their heart mm -hmm. and help us out with these things so that we can – make the biggest impact right. that we can down the floor. And of course, if they don't have things to give, money. 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 Yeah. Money. Because money money you can yeah. buy, yeah, you can buy whatever the whatever they need. And, so, and, yeah. and there is some money coming in. We, we praise God for that because mm -hmm. it's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to, and we're asking for gift cards because sometimes when I was in, when I was in the army, you'd see the money was not going where it ought to go. Right. But a gift card is different because right. it's targeted again. Right. And that's what, that's kind of where we're looking. Yeah, yeah. And and we're able to give it to those who were hurt the most. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, the idea of what military branch were you in? Army. Is there any other? I mean, I was in. No. I, I, I yes, actually, you. if you're a woman wanting to get married, you want a military <laughs> dress, blues with the marine right. uniform. Uh, 
<laughs> well, I started out in the Navy. I put, I put I six it. in the Navy and transferred over to the Army. Okay. Well, my uh, father was Navy, so yeah. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But, but there's nothing like the oh, Navy. That's right. The yeah. Navy, yeah, is good. Well, the Marine dress blues are the best. Marine dress blues are the best. I, <laughs> have, I have to say that. But the Army dress blues are kind of cool, too. Yeah, they're kind of cool. And, so, and the Army's going back to the old uniform. Yeah, and Judge Harry Doss, who's a dear, dear friend, Army through and through. Yes, yeah, so I'm with you. I'm well, that's with good. You. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, well, thank getting, you for your service. I'm looking. You see the flag behind me? I do see that. This represents a, a gentleman who left this this tiny town. He walked seven miles to get to the train depot to go to D-Day. He walked seven miles. Wow. And in the rain to take his little self as a kid in 1943 to go to D-Day. You know, well, you yeah, think about that. Well, I, and I'll, just, I'll tell you a little. My, my old man, my parents came here from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And he was a Marine. My father was a Marine in World mm -hmm. War II. Mm -hmm. And uh, wounded several times. And w when I got back, I got drafted to go to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And when I got back from Vietnam, he said, Well, Laddie, you were just in a little skirmish. It wasn't really a war. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I would have so, loved your daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was a good guy. But, wow, uh, wow, yeah. wow. And, you know, speaking of that, Vietnam, we did not treat you boys like we should have when you came home. We, we were a sad bunch of U.S citizens and uh, didn't greet you at the airport like we should have, didn't have the USO full-fledged, didn't do the things that we, we do today. We're, we're better at it today. We I are think. better. Yeah. But I mean, it was a tumultuous time back then. Mm -hmm. The 60s mm -hmm. and 70s were mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. And so, but, but you know, like I can say I've been in many conflicts now and, and when we got back from Kuwait and, and, and Iraq and Afghanistan, things were different. You know, mm -hmm. they treated mm -hmm. us different. Mm -hmm. we, we became part of the society. That, How that, long have you been in Jasper? I've been here two years. Okay. So you weren't here, were you here when we put the yellow ribbons up on 515? No. In honor of David Collins? This, this, this will make you cry. My uh, Marine son-in-law was out with us and we were out at 530 in the morning and at 530 in the evening and we were putting out yellow ribbons. We did 27 miles of yellow ribbons to honor oh. Noah Harris who was killed in Iraq. And while we were out there, guys like you would stop their car on the side of the road and salute. And it just, I'm getting cold chills thinking about it. I and that's what way. America is today. That's why that flag is here today. That's why that flag is here today. America is better at saluting you and everybody else who served because we've learned from the stupidity. And there's a bunch of stupidity out there. there is. But when you get on 515 and you pass the David Collins interchange, we worked two years to make that happen. And the day that it happened, there were so many people there gathered with us. And it was people from everywhere, you know. And, and it was to honor that one fallen young man who was a young dad who left two young children. And he grew up in Pickens County, Georgia. And now everybody who passes there knows that he is being honored because of his service. So we didn't honor enough, you know. We didn't. And, I, and I'll tell you, I just want to put a shout out to the American Legion. Mm -hmm. I'm a member of the American Legion, and, and, and I think uh, the, in Gilmer and in Pickens and in Cherokee, they need more, they need more veterans to get involved. Right. And they just they don't seem to, to want to get involved, and I don't understand why, because there's a, there's a tremendous need for those veterans to get, to get excited about being veterans and get excited about the community and the mm -hmm. community veterans. Because I know in Pickens County alone, we have 3,000 mm -hmm. veterans in Pickens County. Do you alone. know where the most homeless veterans in Georgia are? I, I do not. Cherokee County, Georgia. Is that right? Cherokee County, Georgia. I've taken so many clothes down there, <clears throat> car loads of clothes. Anytime I have a client who somebody passes away, I load up their clothes and I take them to the Cherokee County. And, and the largest number of homeless vets is in Cherokee County, Georgia. Interesting. Well, if you're a veteran, get involved. Yeah. Join Cherokee, join yep. Pickens, join Gilmer, and get involved and do your duty. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it, it is all about giving back, and that's what the thrift store has done. Now, let's talk a little bit about reconstruction after Don's passing, because I like the idea that you have come to a reality check, because if I bring in a piece of Occupied Japan, and it's worth $45 in an antique store, y'all were pricing them for a dollar, right. which was kind of stupid. You need to get a reality check. If it'll bring ten dollars in the thrift store, that's ten more dollars that you can donate to charity. It is rather than a dollar. Well, when I, when I came there, I knew nothing. I mean, God got me there because where would how would an MP come to run a thrift store? 
I don't know. Okay, now, if you knew the story, it's it, if you knew the story, you know it had, it had got to do with it, right? Yeah, That's all it yeah, had. Yeah. But when I got there, I knew nothing about yeah. the thrift store. Yeah. I knew nothing about retail. Right. So I, I, I went to all the managers of the different, like Kohl's and, and uh, Books a Million and all these stores, and I, I said, I want to speak to the managers because I need help with my store. Mm -hmm. And they were not exactly um, welcoming mm -hmm. until I told them it was a thrift store. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, oh, well, yeah, we'll help you all you want to now because mm -hmm. we were in competition, right? Right, right. So, that, so I, I, I studied that. I studied online. I, I went to seminars. I, we joined the National Association of, of thrift stores in America, mm -hmm. and we got involved that way. And, and I found that the way we were doing business, although we were doing well, mm -hmm. we could give a lot more money to God. We right. just could do a lot more right. things. Right. So we, we raised our prices a little mm -hmm. on basic items. Mm -hmm. I mean, we charged two dollars and fifty cents for a shirt, a pair of pants, clothing. Now, Goodwill charges nine dollars. Oh, I know. I know. We are the lowest. And, and don't even get me started on about them because oh, yeah. do you know how much of theirs goes to their executive director? Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. Oh, I'll be in world trouble. You don't, you don't <laughs> want to get me started because if you're a 5013C, you're only required to give 8% to charity. Mm -hmm. Now, 8%, and that's what they do. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We give, we give every single penny that is not operational funds to mm -hmm. charity, mm -hmm. which is like 90% of what we give. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we have no paid volunteers. We have right. no paid, we're all, we're all, all volunteers, volunteers. Right. no paid, right. and we're there five, six days a week. Right, right. But, you know, I mean, if your heart's there, then you'll be there, right? Right. I have a question that to me is, it, it blows my mind because this happened to me personally. When my daughter passed away, she had a Christmas house that we invited guests into. 400 people a weekend came to the Christmas house. And after she passed, I had an emotional breakdown trying to decide what do I do with all her beautiful Christmas things. Y'all weren't receiving Christmas things. You still don't receive Christmas things? Well, Why? we do now. Okay. I mean, things, things have changed, right? Okay. So now because a lady hurt my feelings, and I'm going to be bluntly, brutally honest with you, I haven't been back to the thrift store since that day. Because How I, long ago was that? About 14 months. I, that's under my, that's under me. Well, I took some stuff out there, and she said, oh, we don't want Christmas stuff, and she was going to put it in the dumpster, and I <sighs> said, never mind, I put it back in my car. And we, I, we do not I do remember that. it like yeah. it was yesterday. We do not do that. And it, because it, it was my daughter's stuff who had died, and who had opened her home to strangers for years. And so when that happened, I said, mm, yeah. not doing this anymore. So well, it made me volunteer at another group. Well, we school. actually have two festivals that are Christmas themed. We have the, um, Christmas in July, mm -hmm. and then we have the Tis of Season. I love Christmas in July. I guess what we're hearing today, y'all, Christmas music in October. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And the next one is the Tis of Season, which is coming up the first weekend of December. So, mm -hmm. um, and both of those are, you know, we, we have Christmas items that we sell at, at mm -hmm. drastically reduced prices, yeah. as well as all of the other activities that we do that are community um, oriented. To yeah. be a, uh, well, the house that we're doing the estate sale, I, I said something to the owner, and I said, Gosh, I wish the thrift store took Christmas stuff because look at all this stuff I've got to get rid of, and it's all kinds of new stuff. Oh, yeah, we do. We take it. I okay. Mean, we, we take it. Okay. And we, we store. You know, God's given us a new building in the back of our plane, and we have a storage building now, so we have more storage. Just part of the problem with with a lot of items is if they're not resellable. Well, I mean, oh yeah, you, you sure. Have to be able to resell oh something. yeah. So listen, we just had a thrift store. At my, uh, thrift store. We had a, a yard sale. I donated my house to use, and I will tell you this: people brought some crap. They that do. we had to haul off. Yeah. And I've seen it at your thrift store, too. I know that people take advantage of a situation. I've well, seen it. Well, yeah. we, we were paying $7,000 a month in trash mm -hmm. bills. I know. But I now we're it. down to $1,500. because we, awesome. we've under, We understand how a thrift business works. Mm -hmm. And 33% if, if of that is recyclable. 33% mm -hmm. of that goes into the store. And there's 33% of that that is just the junk that people bring us because they don't want to pay the, the 100 bucks at yeah. the dump. I dealt with it last weekend, and I was so angry. And there's this big wooden cabinet that we actually broke down in pieces to throw it away because we tried to give it away for four days. Yeah. And it was a nice cabinet, but somebody else had obviously had it at a yard sale. It didn't sell. So they brought it to us. Well, we didn't sell it either, but now it's in four pieces and it's going to be firewood. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you, you know. have to do what you have to do, but yeah, but, but that's but, recycling it. Yes, so, yes, yeah. yes. But yes. I mean, we take we take all things. Our, our, you know, our, we are not we are not selective on other than all we ask our doctor people to do is make sure it's recyclable. 
or at least right. recycle. Well, we don't take tires or mattresses right. no, or things no, like you that. Shouldn't, no, you should Well, right. you have to pay for that. I used yeah, to pay to get rid of it. You have to pay to get rid of it. And that's the other thing I didn't realize till doing estate sales. You have to pay to get rid of tires. And so I just sold some property over in Dawson County and we had like six tires left over. And even the dumpster guy wouldn't let us put tires in the dumpster. No, so we were like, what are we going to do with these tires? I don't know what the new owner did with them, but we didn't do anything with them. But it's hard to get rid of tires. It is. Yeah. Well, tires and mattresses are, that's pathetic. Yeah. You just yeah. can't get rid of them. So yeah. you have to take them to the dump and they, and they have to charge you because yeah, sure. they, can't, they can't get rid of them either. And do you know last week, Pickens County, Pickens Keep Pickens Beautiful had the recycling thing for TVs. Did y'all know about that? I did not. It was $40 to get rid of a TV. So a, a big screen TV that I'd bought years ago was $40 to dispose of it. But Pickens Recycling did that. Keep Pickens Beautiful? Yeah. You can bring any television to our store that is a flat screen. Really? Now we can't do the two, but and, yeah. we, and I'm telling you, we sell the flat screens incredibly cheap. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they and they go like crazy. Yeah. People yeah. bring them to us. So okay. you know, if people are gonna if you're gonna throw all your television, take it to a thrift store. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. can recycle that thing and yep. get some money for God. Yep, yep. The there you one. go. There you go. Now what are the things um, okay, money, water, baby things, canned foods, are we missing anything? Um, uh, gift cards again. Gift, gift cards. cards. Mm -hmm. Small appliances. Yeah, we're, small well, appliances. we're taking small kitchen appliances down. And now see at our yard sale. We were going to throw a bunch of stuff away. I have a bunch of small appliances. Brand. And and small toys for the children. I have some of those. Yeah. 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 How cool is that? Yeah. We're Lots of Beanie Babies. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Some brand new Beanie Babies. Yeah, that's cool. So, let, let me get back to the, the, the next event that we had. Now, mm -hmm. again, we were talking about when I took over. Mm -hmm. So, we decided that we would get involved with the community. Prior to that, the community involvement was given given grants out. Right. But we were... But, you know, God led us down a different path, although we still do that, to, to, to help the people. In the so all of our events, uh, if you come to our event, you eat free. Mm -hmm. We don't charge you for food. Um, we, we have uh, Christian, Christian music and live, uh, usually country western, mm -hmm. some rock, mm -hmm. but we provide music at those events. Mm -hmm. And we, have, we, give, we give so much away because I just want to be more involved with the community. Mm -hmm. We have uh, one of our uh, volunteers that donated a fire truck. And for every parade now, the community thrift store is in the parade. Oh, and we how decorate cool the fire. Oh yeah, we decorate the fire. That. All of our volunteers go out and get in the parade. So and that that was donated by I'm going to give, give a plug. Bill Kane mm -hmm. and his wife mm -hmm. donated that fire truck. How neat! Yeah, and now they still own it, but we yeah. we, we use it, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so we're 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 more involved now. Um, and the, this 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 festival coming up is the season. This is a, something new we're trying. We're Can doing, I see that that yeah. board? Yeah, let me see that. Okay, and this is going to be the first Saturday in December. Yep. And this is, yeah, the, got that. so there will be a, 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 a chili cook-off. Oh, I need to do that. With, with big money prizes. Oh. $500 first place for the chili cook-off. So we have three divisions. We have a, okay. uh, in, a individual, individual division. Uh -huh. Restaurant right. business. And then, and then we are doing a um, first responders mm -hmm. uh, division. And it, I think it's going to be like a challenge between uh, our sheriff and our, our fire chief with all uh -huh. the other ones in the area. Right. We'll see who the best cooks are in that thing. So, oh, cool. Yeah. And then we're having a, a, a classic car show along with that. And we're giving away. And it's the first? The, the first uh, Saturday in December. Oh, I'm going to be in McKaysville during a parade that day. Oh, well, darn come, it. Uh, well, we're darn gonna miss it. You. We're I gonna made miss a commitment. <laughs> Well, but it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. We're asking, and we're asking people to get involved in that also. But, but the primary thing, though, and why why we came on your show, and we're, like I say, we're we're humbled by being here with you because uh, you are a legend in this. Well, you funny. are, and I'm not I'm not blowing smoke at your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you are. Uh, is is this is our, our trip to, to uh, Fort Myers? Right. And I, and with that, and I, I have been humbled by that. And it, it brings out a lot of emotion to me, too, because mm -hmm. I, I've been to all these places. I, I was in Haiti twice for these things. Mm -hmm. When you see the devastation mm -hmm. and what it has done to those people. So any little bit that we can do mm -hmm. is going to make them feel better. But, mm -hmm. but for my volunteers who haven't gone, they're in for a real awakening. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be an emotional blast for them. At the end of today's program, you're going to be blown away because you're going to see a beautiful picture of a lady come up on the screen. She lost everything in Fort Myers. 
everything. And she's going to be singing Oh Holy Night to y'all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And it's going to bless your heart. It's going to bless your heart. But, but she lost everything. Goodness. And starting over from the ground up. But so. It's it's so difficult to see that. The first the first one I went, I think the first one I went on was Haiti. When I got there, mm -hmm. it was unbelievable. I mean, it was just mm -hmm. I, and, and I'm not from a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, my parents were. My old man was a was a marine, and then it became a cop, and we, mm -hmm. we lived in a police salary, mm -hmm. and we grew up kind of in the in the ghettos of Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. But when I got there, I've been to the ghettos of Cleveland. Yeah, well, yeah, you were right I, there. I have. I have. <laughs> That's where I lived. I lived on 49th and Pan in Cleveland. I almost checked into a motel there. I was a traveling woman traveling for a Kroger for many, many years. And I would call the motel and I'd say, now, are you in a good neighborhood because I'm a woman traveling alone? Yeah, yeah. I got to Cleveland. They lied. They did lie. <laughs> they lied. There it was many bad. Good neighborhoods there. It was bad. It was. And I went in there and I said, give me my credit card receipt back and check me out of this dump. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to, to share with, with your audience, um, these are the, the two different types of um, distribution things that we, we're putting out in the community. Um, that, that's on the boxes of item for, for, the, for the material items, and, and then we have some, some little glass jars with, with a request for do, uh, cash donations that are going in various places throughout the, the county. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if you see those signs, you know, please... Um, or if you're, if you're in the area, too, you can go by the thrift store and write them a check. Absolutely. Yeah. And it would be a great time to get to know the thrift store. Number one, I always tell people, tax year, tax season is about to come. Get rid of everything you want to. Donate it to the thrift store right now. Bless somebody else with a better Christmas because I guarantee you there are people out there hanging with coats, brand new coats in their closet that some child could get for Christmas and they would never know that it wasn't bought. They would. That Santa didn't go to Santa's store. And speaking of that, we're going to have Santa Village this week. Santa will be at our place for the, every Saturday for the month of December. Cool. And uh, he's, he's a great Santa Claus. He's a veteran. Mm -hmm. And he, he did it last year and it was it was wonderful last year. But we're making it bigger and better this year mm -hmm. uh, for the for the kids. And we and we also mm -hmm. uh, go we're, we, we put a, a huge angel tree in the store so if you want to get get involved that way they can come in and pick pick a name off the angel tree and bring it back for that person oh that's awesome and when we come back we're going to take a commercial break but when we come back i'm going to share something with y'all that i think will be interesting for you to do for your volunteers and i think it'll touch their heart just a little bit so we'll be back in just a minute You're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. 
Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, guys, um, everybody remembers that my daughter Angela opened her home to the public for many, many years. And one of the things that she did every year, she would add a different tree. And the year that she added the memory tree, and I want to share this with y'all, because in the thrift store, you can buy a good used Christmas tree. And you can take that used Christmas tree and don't let, the holidays are very sad. Yesterday was a very, very tough day for me because I put up the first tree in October in memory of my daughter. She always did an October tree for Christmas. So the trick-or-treaters would come and they'd look up and go, lady, you've got a Christmas tree up. And she'd just laugh. And she said, I'm a Christmas baby. And she said, Christmas is very special to me. So, so I put up that tree yesterday and it was very emotional. It was very sad. And then I sat down and laughed about it because I thought, you don't like putting up Christmas trees. I can't believe you've done this. And here it is October and you have a Christmas tree and I'm playing Christmas music. So today we're gonna to play some Christmas music. But the memory tree is kind of my calming factor. It has my grandmother's stuff on it, my mother's stuff on it, my daughter's stuff on it. And it reminds you of the amazing memories of those people. And then if you don't add anything, Angela always said it was a celebration tree at the end of the year if nobody passed away this year, if none of your loved ones, no family members, none of your friends passes away. And so far this year, so far had a good year. So we're hoping, you know, but, but a memory tree is a great way. And I know if you buy a cheap memory tree, if you buy a cheap tree at the thrift store and then you just take your own memories. We put my granny's snuff can on there, my mama's little fancy pocketbook. Uh, granny's hairbrush, just, just silly little things of theirs. And then we take old Christmas cards, and this is a good project for anybody, uh, especially elderly people who are sitting around, what am I going to do with all these cards? We would just cut out the Christmas card, whatever scene was on it, and then Angela would punch a hole in the top and then put a ribbon in it and hang the Christmas cards on there. And it would remind you of people that sent you a card because mm -hmm. what do we do with our old Christmas cards? You know, I've got boxes and boxes and boxes and y'all can't imagine how many cards I've got because people send you cards all the time. Well, Angela came up with this idea and we would just sit at the kitchen table and cut out these cards and then make ornaments out of them. And it's a good way to say, oh yeah, so-and-so sent me that card 10 years ago before she passed or so-and-so, you know, so it's, it's a good way to remember. And one of the good things about the holidays is we remember those less fortunate, but we remember the fortunate moments we have with those that we loved. So it's just a good memory. That's a good idea. For, I mean, we, I, I, I thrift store family, and I, and I want to give them a shout out too because these are volunteers that put so much time and mm -hmm. effort. They put their talents and their treasures to work for others. And I mean, they, they get nothing in return, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Right, other than having put up with me. Right, or there, a thank right? you. They get a thank yeah. you sometimes. Well, they the, do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, I mean, the, our, our team there, our volunteers are the most wonderful people. And, and I'm humbled. Whenever I think about them, my wife will go, yeah, you're getting teary-eyed over your people. <laughs> but, I, we, but I do, you know, I we, just do. Yeah. We do try to, to um, appreciate our volunteers. We have a quarterly volunteer appreciation party. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we recognize those who, who stand out above the rest with, mm -hmm. as the volunteer of the quarter or supervisor of the quarter. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Christmas gala every year also. Mm -hmm. A big Christmas gala. It's gala. a big deal. Yeah, cool. and it's, cool. we love that. We give away their, their two-year and five-year and ten-year pins and, mm -hmm. and all, the, all that kind of stuff. So Because we, we really appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And I just, I mean, there's no, if I could pay them, I would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, just, I would love to. But, I mean, you know, one of the other things that you offer is that box to put flags in for disposing yes. of flags. And that's at the thrift store. That's, out, that's outside in front of the thrift store. And when that's... When that becomes full, and if you have flags that are damaged, mm -hmm. that's where you should bring them. Mm -hmm. And then the American Legion comes and gets them, mm -hmm. and the Sons of the American Legion do most of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And they take them, they dispose them properly, and give them a good, a good burial. Right, right, right. 
and that's important. That's so very, very important. Okay, now this event is, um, y'all are leaving on November the what day? November the 4th. Okay. So y'all, you've got some time to get them some money, get them cards, uh, baby items and formula. I'm going to check with Dominic's and see if there's any way we could help because I did see a lot of baby items there. But um, it is giving back, and, and when you came up with this plan, did any of your volunteers squawk at you and say, what are you doing that for? Did or any did of them or did all agree? of them? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, see, in the Army, you have these things. They're, yes. they're called GFIs, yeah. and that's a great friggin' idea. Right? <laughs> and I have a lot of those, and every time I have one of those, everybody in the store goes, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you've not done it again. One. Yeah, yeah, not another one. So, but well, not so much this one. Yeah, this, yeah. But this yeah. one. I mean, this is everybody, everybody's one. kind of embraced this. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody, I see, again, it's personal for us. Our general mm -hmm. manager, uh, her daughter, who lives lives down there, and when she when she came up from down there, uh -huh. she came to the store, and it was a it was a tearful get together because oh, she had imagine. lost everything, mm -hmm. and it's hard it's hard to think about for us that are so blessed mm -hmm. to think about somebody that has nothing mm -hmm. at all. So it was personal for us. Mm -hmm. And my dad's place in Pine Island was totally dis destroyed. Yeah, yeah. So. And I'm going to say your father wasn't in a mood to start over, and now he's going to start over. Well, it, w it was a winter home for him. Yeah, so, yeah, so that, that's, that's better, but still. Okay, well, I'm going to introduce y'all now to somebody who does music here weekly, daily, whenever, whatever kind of mood I'm in. He's a local guy. Um, he was a... He drove a bus here for 41 years for the kids of the school, police officer for many years, um, and wrote some, some pretty cool mu music. And we're going to share a little bit of his music. And the other thing I want to share about him with you, when he does events, the money that he's paid, he gives to somebody else. He gives to either the Shriners Children's Hospital or he gives to the Lions to help with the special needs mm -hmm. folks here in Gilmer County. And that's something we all have the ability to do. If you don't have a lot of money, but you have a talent, you can do that and use your talent to give back to others. And that's what it's about. It is. That's when you get those blessings, and that's when you really feel like I've accomplished something because I did something for somebody else. And it didn't cost me a bunch of money because it's just something I do. So when I was on the board of directors for Habitat, I said, we're going to do a cookbook as fundraiser. And they said, we are. I said, yes, we are. Bring me 10 recipes, 10 recipes. And I gave everybody a list. And they said, well, how are we going to do that? I said, go to your mama, go to your grandmother, go to your aunt, get 10 recipes. We produced the cookbook. I did. I ended up doing four cookbooks. And they all sold out. And it was something we did just as a, like this. I said, let's do it. Let's, let's don't talk about it. Let's don't discuss it. Let's do it. <laughs> you know? And that's what you do. You just jump in there and do it and make a difference in somebody's life. So right now, I think Dwight Sanford is going to make a difference in y'all's life. You're going to get to hear, I left it up to Donovan, so I don't know what song you're going to get to hear, but I will tell you the program today is going to end with Astrid doing Oh Holy Night. And Astrid lost everything in the um, event down in Fort Myers, and it was one of those things. You're on top of your game today and then everything you have is underwater the next day. And what do you do? You start over. A lot of people in Florida do not have the flood insurance because it's so expensive. Do not have the, is it hurricane insurance? Is that what they call it or wind damage? What do they call it down there? Flood damage and hurricane. Yeah, yeah. and I know, I, I saw somebody who told me they got a quote and it was $16,000 a year hmm. for insurance. And I was like, I wouldn't be having that, <laughs> you know, so, so it's tough. But anyway, we're going to go to a little bit of music, and y'all know him, you love him, and um, it's so weird because you can't go anywhere that people don't stop and talk to him. I don't know how he gets anywhere anytime because everybody's talking to him. Here we go. Many years ago in days of childhood, I used to play till the evening sun would come then wandering down an old familiar pathway I could hear my mother call at set of sun come home come home it's supper time the shadows lean fast Come home Come home It's supper time We're going home at last Come home Come home It's supper time 
Some of my fondest memories of my childhood were woven around supper time. And Mom, I remember how you used to call from the steps of our old home place. You'd always say, come home, son, it's supper time. What I'd give to hear that just one more time. But you know, time has woven a realization of truth that's even more thrilling. And that's when we hear that call from the portals of glory to come home for supper time. When all of God's children gather around the table with the Lord himself, and we celebrate the greatest supper time of all. Supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Come home, come home. It's supper time. We're going home at last. Now, he did pick my favorite song. I do love Supper Town. That is such a great, great song. And, you know, as we're approaching the holidays, you will find that there will be some people who can't afford anything. If somebody comes to the thrift store and they can't even afford to buy used clothes, do you have something that you will help these families? We do. Uh, we, if, the, if they're from Pignus County, they can go to any of the, any of the churches or any of the governmental offices. And, the, and they, 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 all they have to do is say, is say they're in need. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that church or that office will give them, will tell us on mm -hmm. their letterhead, mm -hmm. we vetted these people, they're in need. Right. They come to us and we, we, get, we give them a voucher for clothes or, or the things mm -hmm. that they need, we, and they get them for free. Right. I know right. I've done that here in this store, the Faith, Hope, and Charity. Yeah. They did that, yeah. And if there's, and, and just like if, if you have a fire in your home, mm -hmm. any, any disaster in the home, mm -hmm. we also give those free. Right. We don't charge right. anything. So if you right. need new, new furniture, those kind of things. Or, if you're a, if you're a 501c3, if you're a charity and you mm -hmm. have and, and you need something from our store, come and tell me. We will give it to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, we will just yeah. give it to you. I think that's important because a lot of people don't realize. I, and you were talking about the Goodwill prices. Oh my gosh, it got ridiculous. I bought a rug at Goodwill not too very long ago because we needed it for a location. We were doing a um, staging and we needed a certain rug. A hundred bucks. A hundred <laughs> bucks. I was like. I can't believe I just spent $100 on that rug, you know, and I was like, holy cow. Yeah, they're 30 bucks at our place. Well, it was $100, and then I went to a, a garage sale in Pickens County, one of the houses that we had listed that we were selling, and I bought a better rug for $100 at a yard sale, three times better than the one I bought at Goodwill for 100 bucks. And I was like, why did you do that, dummy? Why did you do it? Well, it was because time and opportunity. Yeah, I had to do it. You didn't know that you'd find something yes, better. Yes, yeah, yeah. Speaking so, of the nonprofits, um, coming up next Tuesday, the, the first, mm -hmm. um, we are doing a nonprofit network forum for, for all the 501Cs in Pickens County mm -hmm. at Chattahoochee Tech and um, providing lunch and giving them an and opportunity to. What day to is that? It's a Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday, what time? 1130 at the Chattahoochee Tech. Okay. And, and we ask them to RSVP, um, go to our. Um, uh, Gmail is cts30143 at gmail.com and just RSVP if they're from Pickens County and then, you know, that way they can meet the other nonprofits in the county, share their needs, and, um, you know, hopefully help each other out. Uh, did you see the program the other day when I had the ladies on from Pickens County that do, um, they help with moms in drug court and different things and then they're looking for clothes and, and, and books and different things for the children? They were on the other day, and, and we were talking about how hard it is because, you know, a book for a kid's like five ninety five to $10 to buy a kid a book. But their children, they start them very, very young with the books, and then um, it's amazing how much better they read. And Is that the first reader? Well, we have a, we have a big readers. library mm -hmm. at our place. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's, it's very big. And uh, we have a librarian there that takes care of it, and she's really good. In fact, she's she, I think she's one of the directors at the at the uh, horse um, angels on horseback, angels on horseback. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so she volunteers there but they didn't come there and get a book for 50 cents or a dollar mm -hmm, from us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we don't mind 
Yeah. So we yeah. would, and, we, and if it's for kids, we would give them away. Absolutely. We would give them Absolutely. Away. Yeah. And and that's one of the things I have been involved in estate sales, and I see them throw cases of books away. And I'm like, oh my gosh, don't do that. You know, somebody somewhere would enjoy that book. But often people just get in a hurry and they'll start throwing they books do. in the dumpster. And I'm like, don't do that. Well, they don't, they don't know the worth. Yeah. They just, they, you know, they, I mean, for them, it was a one-time use. But for our folks, mm -hmm. it's years over. And in fact, we get, the, we get things that are brought back to us. So if someone will buy something, it'll be brought back to us. And I'll see it has a year-old sticker still mm -hmm. on it from our mm -hmm. place. And we resell it again. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you a story. I hope I can do it without crying. When my mother passed away, mother had been um, a chain smoker all of her life, and I bought a place to put her in the last, it was supposed to be the last six months of her life. Well, she fooled the doctor and lasted two years and two months. And so six months after mother passed away, I kept opening her door and I'd have to leave. And I'd get to the, and I'd leave. And I, you know, and I kept saying, I gotta go in here, I gotta deal with this, I can't keep making this payment and sitting here staring at this stuff, I've gotta deal with this. My daughter and I sat down in mother's bedroom floor and we looked in the closet and we looked at all the shoes and we said they're all going back to exactly where they came from, the thrift <laughs> store. <laughs> mother had stiletto heels. She was 72 years old, but she loved a jitterbug. And she would go to the thrift store with oh high goodness. heels. And so we just died laughing and I said it brought me so much comfort to give back everything that she had bought from y'all because she was probably the biggest shopper. Yeah, she yeah, loved it. She loved it. And uh, we, we donated her furniture, we donated everything because it was something she would have been pleased. So if you're cleaning out your parents' closet, if you're cleaning out, if your kids have outgrown everything, think about this local thrift store and think about what they do to give back to Pickens County. And um, I saw it through Don's life. I, I admired him, I loved him. Um, sad that he's gone, but man, he worked hard for a long time. He did, I, I can say, it's, it's when, when I when I think about the thrift store and what he, I, I kind of look at, at, at his, yeah, I will. As, I kind of look at it as, as he would if you're looking at churches, I guess. And, and I'm really, I'm the I'm the I, I'm the saved Catholic guy, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. They, they, you know, the, the Baptists don't, don't know what to think about me. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But my we, aunt Betty was a Catholic. Was she? Well, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what everybody yeah. says. They from knew Ohio, one, right? From Ohio, <laughs> that's, that's right. right, that's right. But he was like an he was like an evangelist. He could start everything. He mm -hmm. did he did so many things for Pickens County. He was amazing. He started them all, and then he just left them for us to run. Yeah. And so we had to do our best. I got to show y'all something. This just it caught my eye. See that car there in the corner? That's what I learned to drive on. We had a Ringer washing machine in our house at 1410 Northwest Moreland Drive in Orlando, Florida. And this car sat in the driveway and mama would say, are you still back there doing that laundry? Well, I was doing the ringer washing machine, but I was really sneaking and driving the car up and down the driveway. <laughs> and then mother would say, well, the gas is all gone out of the car. Really? <laughs> so that is so cool. So there's gonna be a car show, a season festival, chili cook-off and family fun for all ages. And right now, because I promised we would honor Astrid, Astrid is in Fort Myers. She is dealing with building back the loss of everything they had and starting over. And she's a wonderful lady who came to Gilmer County and is involved in the Christmas CD that was produced last year here. Amazing, amazing lady. And we want to honor her today. So today we're gonna to leave y'all. It is a little early for Christmas. But it's never too early for Christmas. We do it in July. Yeah, we can have Christmas in July. So I want to remind you, please go by the thrift store, help them, help them, and they'll be helping somebody else. And that's very, very important. So, so let's be a part of that. Now, we're going to leave you now with Astrid singing, Oh, Holy Night, and Oh, Holy Cow, does she do a good job of it. Here we go.